Wing Merchant Gaming, and if you haven't pre-ordered this game, I recommend you go and purchase it now. This is Metal Soul Suspect for PlayStation 4, and it is superb. Visually, it's almost perfect. I really, really liked the visuals in this game. I thought they were great, and uh, I thought the audio was fantastic too. The developers have done a great job in making you feel really uneasy in those eerie moments, and it just all fits in really quite nicely. Now, you play as Ronan. He is a criminal turned cop, and he gets killed by some murderous psycho killer. And that's pretty much all I can tell you about him. But if you play the game, you'll find out more about him as you go through. The game is really interesting to play, as it takes elements from L.A. Noire and the fact that you have to actually gain evidence, collect evidence, and from that you can uh, possess or influence uh, people by possessing them and uh, find out other parts of the story. Also guys, the game is fun to play. There's loads of collectibles involved, so for you collectors out there, you'll absolutely love this game. There's tons and tons of collectibles, and they're not just there to collect either. Uh, once you collect a certain amount of each collectible item, you'll actually be given a, a side shoot of a story. Unfortunately, I didn't actually collect any of these. I mean, I collected some, but I didn't complete a collection, so I didn't actually get to see any side shoot of a story. But I'm definitely playing back through it now to find out what those are. So the game isn't actually truly open world. It's just big, big levels, and you can traverse them, and they are open but it's not completely open world. There is a loading screen which is very 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 short between each part of the level. So this game is pretty much perfect guys. I had a really fun time playing this game. It was a 10 hour long experience for me and I'm sure if I'd have collected all the collectibles and done all the side quests it would have probably took me around 12-13 hours. It was just totally fun and thrilling. Not once did I want to stop playing this game it just kept me intrigued and once I found another clue and another part of the story I always wanted to find out what happened next not once did I want to stop playing so guys you're probably wondering what score I give this game well I give this game a 9 out of 10 I think it's a superb experience with really great visuals fantastic controls and just an overall great atmospheric feeling and it has one of the greatest stories of this year and it's certainly one of the best games out as of yet for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So I do recommend you picking this up. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe down below and check out my other videos. Also the link to this review will be in the description. And this is my written review that I have personally wrote myself. And it's at gamersftw.co.uk. But I can't include it right now once this video is uploading. As uh, I'm not allowed to bring the review out at the same time. So guys... 9 out of 10 from me. Hope you enjoyed the review. As I said before, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you next time.